paper and not ours. It's very important that we have community collaboration um, and that we're reporting on the issues and things that you guys care about. I um, want to talk just a minute about our um, chairman of the board, Pierre Manigo, and um, my apologies, he sends his regrets. He is sick with COVID, so I told him, we don't want you here. Um, he, he was sick as of last Thursday and not feeling much better this morning. So, But I want to talk a minute about Pierre. Uh, he's fourth generation newspaper guy and extremely committed to providing local news to the communities that we serve. We tell, all the employees will tell you two things. Our secret sauce is Pierre Manigo and the content is keen. He's always believed that a strong newspaper is needed to really support our democracy. And he's given us the reins and the ability to, to really back that up by hiring reporters, um, which probably leads you, you know, why are we expanding statewide? Um, we really have seen news deserts start to form across South Carolina and certainly other places. Um, you know, within the United States, we've lost over 30,000 journalists. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to cover a local community without reporters. And so it's very important that we're trying to support South Carolina in the, in the various expansion markets. A part of how we've done that is you'll see local reporters on the ground here that are here in the community. We support that through a couple of efforts in Charleston. Um, we don't really have a corporate office. Um, we rent a small space um, in Charleston, but we're a mighty team. Uh, you'll have a group of editors that will help support Chris, um, who will be introduced later. And then we also have a projects team. So we'll do a lot of major projects that could be statewide projects um, that really will feed into any region of the state that could be minimally adequate when we talked about education. Um, it could be the Uncovered series that we did. Um, and I know Autumn, you'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, and then we also, we, we try to support that team with the statewide team that we have out of Columbia as well. So we have over 12 reporters just covering state house activities. So we really try to bring you local projects reporting and then the state legislators and what's going on there. In addition to that, you know, we will come to market as a seven day digital newspaper and we will let you help guide us into what else we need to become. And I'll give you some examples. In Greenville, they really needed to have an e-edition. So that e-edition was very important to them. I don't know yet if that's important to you, but if it is, it's something that we would, we would do. Um, the e-edition is simply a PDF of a printed newspaper that you can flip and read online. Some people prefer that versus a feed that is 24 seven. You know, they really like to say, I wanna know the news and I wanna be able to say, did you see what was on the front of page one? So anyway, we will let you guys help guide us with all of that as we move forward. Um, you know, to start out, we it's business, education, growth development, quick response, what's going on. It'll be arts coverage. Um, obviously, I've also heard tonight people like sports, so we'll have to talk about sports. And then uh, we will start out, and, and Autumn will talk to this, but we'll also have a, opinion and letters to the editor as well. We've always believed that that's very strong part of the newspaper, and those voices need to be heard. Um, so I will tell you, in Charleston, we have a Golden Pen Award. We will bring that here. That Golden Pen Award is a letter writer is awarded each month our favorite letter, <coughs> whatever topic it was. And then we celebrate that at the end of the year by having all 12 of our winners to a luncheon. And it's one of the my favorite events that we do all year because it really speaks to engagement within the community. Um, one other thing I want to mention is that, you know, expansions like this cannot happen without really great partnerships. And boy, do you guys have some great partners within your community. Uh, we have truly been blessed. Um, I want to mention the B and Ray Morton Foundation, Darla Moore Foundation, Francis Marion Development Foundation. And, you know, as a part of our coming here, we were able to make this bigger and better. And one of the ways just through this partnership is 
our goal is to have 18 interns from whether it's high school or college in Florence, and that would serve news, advertising, and marketing. And we feel like those opportunities for children in this region are something that we should be proud of and we should be able to help guide them through really experienced editors and reporters, marketing personnel, and advertising personnel, and hopefully show them a path to wanting to uh, report in South Carolina or sell advertising in South Carolina. Um, but with that, that's the business side. I know we'll have a Q&A later, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. But I will tell you that great journalism